everyone. We're going to solve for x for all values of x from 0 degrees to 360 degrees for 3 sine squared of x plus 2 cosine of x plus 2 equals 0. So basically let's go ahead and solve this. Um, since we have sine squared and a cosine, we're going to have to factor this so we want them the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let sine squared of uh, theta, using my Pythagorean identities here, equal 1 minus cosine squared of theta. So I can rewrite this as uh, 3 and sine squared is going to be 1 minus cosine squared of x. Then we have plus 2 cosine of x plus 2 equals 0. All right, so let's clean this up a little bit. Uh, 3 minus 3 cosine squared of x plus 2 cosine of x plus 2 equals 0. And writing this in standard form, we're going to add those up. So this is going to equal uh, negative 3 cosine squared of x plus 2 cosine of x plus 5 equals 0. All right, now let's do something here. Uh, since we have cosine here, it makes it easier to factor. If we write this as cosine, let's let cosine of x be a big X. And that means our big X uh, is going to be in between negative 1 and 1. So from that, we're going to go ahead and factor this. And this can be factored as, let's see, um, let's see, if we, um, let's negate everything first. If we negate everything, we get 3 cosine squared of x. Let's write this as 3. Let's substitute in our x. Uh, big X. So big X squared minus 2 big X minus 5 equals 0. That way it's going to be easier to factor. So when you factor that, you're going to get uh, 3 big X minus 5 times big X plus 1 equals 0. So our big X is going to equal uh, 5 divided by 3 or big X is going to equal negative 1. But due to our restrictions for our range, our X uh, can't be bigger than 1. So we have to disregard that. So we have uh, uh, X is negative 1. Now I'm going to substitute back in my x into this. So this is going to be cosine of x equals my big X, which is negative 1. And that happens when x equals 180 degrees. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs>